this is gonna work. I'm having a real hard time seeing right now. What's good, my friends? Welcome back to another reaction video. Today's video is The Sandwich Stealing Scooter Scoundrel. Okay. So, let's see what this video is about. Oh, we got two people on the scooter. Y'all had to make this noise. <laughs> Y'all crazy. Well, would you look at this cute little couple rolling up on their scooters? And as you can see, the guy is putting his scooter they behind cute. the propane tank cage right, right there. The He's looking inside. Always a good idea to try and gauge how dumb the cashier is before you enter the building. And yeah, he looks pretty dumb. She's parking hers as well, having a tough time getting that kickstand down. But she got it. And he's like, no, honey, no. You got to move that back a little. Come on now. Obviously, the last thing we need is some dirty thief to spot our scooters and steal them. How are we going to get home? All right, that should be good. Well, and boop. Butt slap. So he's going to be a gentleman and open the door for his lady friend and obviously he's going to look up at the counter get a better gauge of how dumb that cashier looks and yep he looks pretty dumb. So they do the smart thing and go straight for the fresh made daily quarter pound of meat with three slices of cheese sandwiches unless of course you're getting cheddar pepper jack which now only has two slices because we had to do a cheese brand switch. I feel they look like they playing all this out. They probably broke. They said oh let's go up to the store and and, and Try to take a sandwich. Is that the only thing they stole? Or they bought any? Let, let's see. Let's, let's see. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Ruski, but luckily they are bigger slices, so technically you're still getting three slices of cheese. You feel me? Anyways, he's got you half a pound of meat right there. He's got a roast beef, a ham, but he wants three quarters pound of meat, so he just grabbed a plain Italian. Good choice, little buddy. Those are some delicious looking sandwiches you got there. So they make their way around the coffee counter, and they're gonna make a pit stop at the little Debbie rack, make sure they don't want any zebra cakes or double decker fudge rounds, which they do not, so she's gonna take a quick look in this wine cooler right here. Oh, they got a delicious Pinot Grigio. What do you think about that? Oh, we probably don't have enough quarters for that. Taken. All right, what do you want? They got no. pop. They got gator. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna go back over there. Uh, all right, well, <laughs> I'm gonna go do a figure eight and throw him off of our scent. Oh, good idea. All right, I'll see you soon. So while she heads towards the tea and juice cooler, he's going to make his way past the bathrooms around this big cluster of beer, down the vodka aisle, towards the coolers, around this wine rack, before he looks up at the counter and makes his way into the middle aisle, does a little stop, checks on his girlfriend, before continuing down the middle aisle, and obviously looking up at the camera right there. Ooh, probably not a good idea to do anything in the so middle aisle. So he does not complete the That's figure eight feet walk, and he is continuing to pretend like he's browsing for something else, but he knows he doesn't want anything else, so he's gonna come over here and have a powwow with his girlfriend again. How do you feel about sweet tea? I don't like it. What? I never did. I thought you loved sweet tea. No, I've never liked it. All right, well, I'll put this back and get something else. How do you feel about a watermelon juice cocktail? Ooh, that does sound pretty good. Okay, I'll go put this back. So she heads back to the tea and juice cooler. He's gonna look up at the counter, you know, gotta make sure that cashier seems busy before you try stealing something. So she swaps out that sweet tea with a watermelon juice cocktail. All right, follow me. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? First, we're gonna get away from the counter so he doesn't hear us come up with our plan, okay? Okay, All right, that sounds now, good. We're gonna go into the middle aisle over here, and we gotta figure out how to come up with a distraction. There's no other customers in here, so we can either wait for a customer to come in, or we can do something. All right, well, how about I go buy the Arizona? Good idea. Here, take my glasses, put them on, and maybe it'll confuse him. Oh, why didn't I think of that great idea? What? All right. Uh, yeah, I don't what? know if this is gonna work. I'm having a real hard time seeing it right now. What? Are you sure? All right, well, take them off and see what it looks like. Uh, yeah, I don't like these. <laughs> Dang it. All right, scratch that plan. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'll go distract in my pocket. They're so obvious. Hey, Miss Arizona, do you got some money for me? Preferably change, because I can count out the change and take my sweet ass time. Okay, perfect. So she fiddles with the change and he turns around, hits us with a little zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
of the jacket to get it ready for the sandwich Ooh. stuffing. So she makes her way up to the counter. She's going to set down that Arizona. He's going to hide behind the fat heads beer display and look up at the counter, make sure I'm not paying attention before he takes the ham sandwich and swoop, slips it down his jacket. Apparently Ooh. the other two sandwiches were decoys, which I did not see him put back because as you can see, I am clearly pissed off right now. I got to take out my AirPods. You know, I was just trying to catch up on Kill Tony before I go to the Madison Square Garden show. And yes, I did make the live stream. Woo -woo. So he put back the decoy quarter pounders he's going to follow that gentleman who's holding the door open for him outside and here comes his lady friend with the arizona watermelon juice cocktail now obviously i gotta exit off of the kill tony youtube channel get my camera app open and dang is that a cedar point t-shirt from gvr work there you go what the fuck are you doing where are the sandwiches you just fucking took are you an idiot you're a oh. fucking idiot he slapped us. No, scooter. you took more than that. Are you a fucking moron? Are you a fucking idiot? You took like. You're a fucking idiot. Don't ever fucking come back here, you piece of shit. Where his Where his girl at? If you know this thief. <laughs> Yo, homeboy slapped that scooter. Homeboy slapped that scooter, boy. Homeboy slapped that scooter out of his hand, Bruh. I told you, they was broke. They had no money. And they was hungry. Wow. Wow. Anyway. <laughs> Kids, don't do this. Or adults, young adults, don't don't be stealing out of no groceries. Don't be stealing out of the, the gas station. If you ain't got no money, you ain't got no money. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and until next time, peace.